DC Rebirth, yes! <laughs> WonderCon, today, March 26th. They announced a bunch of new stuff. Bunch of new stuff. No, not so much. Well, maybe like one new thing we didn't know was coming as much as all the creative teams for all of the uh, Rebirth lineups that they announced a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm really excited. So am I, actually. It looks really good. I don't know if there's going to be an event to go along with it. I really hope there isn't because I really hate the stupid event comics, the big crossover things. I think that 80 page special, I think, is going to kind of take care of the event aspect. Of then it. I'm totally down. Run with it. Let's All of which bring is it DC. Two ninety nine. Yep. Even the eighty page oh. special. Two ninety nine. Nice. Yep. That's everything. Very smart. DC is doing everything two ninety nine except for pretty much. And I had to look at their little previews leak that is on Previews World. Mm-hmm. It's all empty information, but they have everything up. Um, the only books that are not going to be like t- returning to a two ninety nine price point is anything that is a number continuing on from the old okay. uh, lineup because there's a few last issues coming out in June. The continuation of Dark Knight Three, so that's still gonna be priced at yeah. $5.99. But all their core books are gonna be two ninety nine, which I'm excited for because I'm a broke yeah. actor. That's <laughs> fantastic. Um, draw side, almost everything's shipping Marvel style twice a month. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, pretty much, more or less, almost everything. The other trick on it, and this is actually like a, a good trick because it looks like they're returning to the core concepts of DC characters. Mm-hmm. So thematically, like we're going back into like. Uh, the bright primary hope kind of thing, uh, yeah. which finally, finally, in just before, as we were, were setting up for this video, just as we were setting up for this video, um, it occurred to me that maybe that is kind of what they're going to go for with the movies as well. So you've got Man of Steel being like this this dark, depressed movie, and then you've got a giant mess, which was also this dark, depressed movie, but maybe from that there going forward... There was quite a bit of color, though. Yeah. You like, Superman you actually look blue at one point. Yeah. I was really happy. But, but that's that's just it. Like, they're evolving their world, yeah. so they're showing yeah. the changes that come about because of the heroes. Mm-hmm. So they're moving from that dark place into a, a brighter one, into a better future. And that, thematically, like, if that's what they're going for... Oh my god, DC, you just... <laughs> this is definitely what I got a sense of from Giant Mess by the end. I was like, oh, so we had all this terrible darkness in the last, like, if we put it together with Man of Steel, like five hours of film. Yeah. To bring it up to a nicer place. The rebirth. The rebirth of Superman, of Superman and the DC Universe. <laughs> Spoilers for Batman v Superman. Spoilers for those of you that have never read a comic. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess Death of Superman's been out for a while. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're going to have Doomsday, you you have him kill Superman like that. That's, that's why he was made. Yeah, it's yeah. like you know you bring Bane into a, into a movie and he's he's gonna Very break the bat. Except yeah. Batman or Robin. Don't want to hear him talk about that. That that wasn't a movie. That was. That also wasn't Bane. No. No. That was. Yes. Um, <laughs> let's just, just let's forget right, that. Forgetting that. <laughs> it had some good toys. Yes. Like like the Bane I had, toy. I had a bunch of them. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was like three okay. and everything. <laughs> We are so off topic. Welcome but to hey, Vancouver. Nightwing is blue again. Nightwing is blue again. That's always good. Yeah. Red Robin is green. <laughs> yeah. Red, Red Robin is green. In a. <laughs> yeah. Wonder Woman has probably the best possible writing team oh, yeah. that you could, you Scott, could give her. Wonder Woman is definitely out of everything. This is the two, I would say the top two books that got a creative team mm. announcement slash just announcement in general that I'm most excited for. Wonder Woman. Because... Greg Ruck is writing uh-huh. um, with, I can't remember the one guy, but I know it's Greg Ruck is telling pretty much two stories with his Wonder Woman title, mm-hmm. shipping twice monthly, which is practically making it like it's actually two separate Wonder Woman books going at the same time. Yeah. That's awesome. Odd numbers are present day Wonder Woman uh, drawn by, in a, what I can tell from the art, I can't remember his name, great artist. And it sounds like a very interesting story that's going to kind of deal with the convoluted nature of Wonder Woman. Of New 52 Wonder Woman kind of clarify some things. Mm. And then... Um, it the, started off so yeah. good. And then the even-numbered issues are going to be with art by Nicholas Scott. And it's going to be Wonder Woman Year One. Hmm. Which, thank That's you. a really interesting idea. Yeah, I, I really... I cannot wait for this. Yeah. I love Ruka. I... Well, and Scott's art, too. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's the perfect storm of, I need to read this comic. Yeah, so, DC, very... And everything else that they've got going sounds just as good. Yeah. Well, except for maybe Jason Todd with Bizarro. And Teen Titans still sounds a little lacking, because I've heard some. 
yeah. iffy things. Yeah. But they're they're definitely moving in the right direction. Yes, they are. Um, that dog's really excited for DC Rebirth. You can tell. <laughs> that um, is crypto over there. Yeah. <laughs> Another really standout book to me uh, that just got announced today. Scott Snyder's back on Batman for yep. All-Star Batman. Yes. Now we're not talking about All-Star Batman and Robin, which Jim Lee made a nice joke at when they said, it's like, we're doing All-Star Batman. Jim's like, so you guys got tired of waiting for me to draw it? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so this is not the Frank Miller All-Star yeah, Batman and Robin. Yeah. The Boy Wonder that we had in the early 2000s. This is a new thing, um, which is going to be Scott Snyder kind of on a Batman on a Road Warrior adventure with Two-Face, and it's going to be a, plugging in a lot of um, the villains that uh, Scott Snyder didn't really get to touch on in his run with Greg Capullo. With That's really weird because my friend was tweeting about that the other day. Mm -hmm. He was just like, I would love to see Batman just going on a road trip, meeting up with like random villains in each city. Yeah. And now it's happening. Yep. <laughs> Good job, my friend. So that's written by Scott Snyder, art by John Romita Jr which from the promo art actually looks like it's going to be some of his best work in a while because it's going to be awesome. At least the cover art is inked by Danny Meekie, so it was, that was nice. Uh, Sean Murphy, which is always... always I always love good. to see Sean Murphy. Yeah. Uh, Jock, and he's had great success with Scott Snyder before with Witches and Black Mirror. Mm -hmm. um, and a quite a buttload of other artists that, um, that are going to be working with him on this book. Very cool. So is it basically going to be like a different artist per issue? Like? Yeah like uh, the American okay. Alien kind of situation where it's a different artist per issue. That's hmm. awesome. Yeah, that could be really cool. I'm actually in August, I really looking forward to that. I think that's going to be great because it's going to be such a different story of Batman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just Batman on a road trip. And the more Batman thing <laughs> is uh, Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey. Which main Batman books. Really, really looking forward to. Um, we, were, we were talking about this off camera, but um, can we bring up the idea that DC is actually listening to fans and maybe acknowledging that females do read comics and yeah. so they've brought in like a bunch of female writers and female artists and I think they've now completely eclipsed anything that Marvel's the got. Female, all the female characters actually from, from the announcements to me have the strongest creative teams. Yep. Wonder Woman. What? Yeah, Wonder Woman. Uh, Supergirl sounds like the new yep. The new back, the new back, not just the Birds of Prey, but the Batgirl solo book yep. sounds very interesting, uh -huh. and as a natural evolution of Burnside, of Burnside, which almost sounds more interesting than Burnside yeah. got by the end there. Um, yeah, I'm just, and then Justice League, has some, like all the Justice League books, sound really interesting. Um, the main Justice League title is a little iffy to me. We got Brian Hitch on writing duties with Tony Daniel and. <gasps> Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember the second artist, but Tony Daniel is the lead artist. Yay, I love um, his art. I love his art too, but he did say in the for a twice, twice monthly uh, shipping book, I'm a little worried about delays because Daniel's not the fastest artist. And he already said in the WonderCon book, which I think we'll probably have people going, really? Mm -hmm. Is that he says, yeah, some of these pages are taking me three days to draw. Ooh. And this is a but twice monthly shipping book. To be, to be <laughs> honest, I would rather wait yeah, for I would rather wait. good art then have one that's shipped twice Uncomplete. a month with, yeah. with really shitty rushed art. Yeah. So uh, take 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 the lesson from Nintendo and just give us good stuff. Yes. Yeah. And don't feel like we are uh, Trinity. Trinity. The idea that yeah. you're you're gonna do this. And again, this is another thing that Nate and I and Jenna were talking about before the camera started. It feels like it's gonna be a comic for the sake of there being a comic and yeah. pushing the importance of those characters as opposed to having a story. Mm -hmm. I got a um, strong art team, yeah. Grant Smatable, but my critique of that is he's also writing. And We know that you're not the biggest fan of his writing. <laughs> I'm not. But, I mean, if he's passionate about the characters, you know, it's like it could turn out really good. Mm -hmm. and Flash. I, Flash has got a good team. Sorry to cut you off, Aaron. That's Joshua okay. Williamson. Um, oh, God, Nail yes. Biter. Which yeah. is one of my favorite books by Image is on You're Flash. Welcome. Yeah, thanks to Aaron. Yeah, <laughs> like love Read that book. So I'm really excited for Flash. Yeah. Uh, Are you going down to ECC? No, I am. I'm not. Oh, cool. we should totally, like, hook up and do a nerd Cooper cast while we're there. I yeah, wish I could. Interview some people. Mm -hmm. I, have to be, I have to be here because I'm acting. Ooh. We do some acting that weekend, so I can. Well, that's more important. You yeah. need to shape you up. You need to be Jason, Jason Todd. Todd. Yeah. <laughs> Get those acting skills acting down. Acting skills and, 
and them workouts in. Them workouts. Do the, workouts. Do the do the Batman workout. Yeah, I'll do the, the Batman, Batman workout. Batman movie. That was intense. That terrified me. <laughs> oh God, that was beautiful. Yeah, Jesus. really. I'll just start doing that every day. I hope they do. Like Ben Affleck uh, in like six months. <laughs> I hope they do a workout scene for Jason Momoa. <laughs> I guarantee you that they will, because you have Jason Momoa in a film, and that is going to happen. Yay. <laughs> Um, That's his entire movie could be just him looking at the camera working out, and I would be happy. <laughs> I'd be happy. Now, with some other books, this too, I'd like you guys. I know Jan, Jan is going to swing over Aquaman for a minute. Aaron, <laughs> um, you know you you've kind of brought it up. I'm really excited for Wonder Woman. I'm kind of curious about what they're going to do with the giant mess of Superman because mm-hmm. out of yeah. everything coming out of Free Birth, uh, Superman is the one that I'm I'm leery of. And I think it just continues to be the DC doesn't know what to do with Superman. And it's because Superman is one of those characters you need to understand that the threat is never against Superman. Yeah. Ever. Because you can't threaten Superman by definition. Superman is mostly a static character and the people around him change. There's a, an internet meme about like one of the villains contacting Lex and being like, hey, hey, I figured it out. Mark is Superman. And Lex just being like, uh-huh, and? And the guy being like, well, well, come on, we can go and attack him. And Lex is like, you, you think he stops being bulletproof yeah. when he puts on the glasses? <laughs> we all know who he is. Uh, the, the thing is, when he's Clark, he pretends not to be Superman. So we really, really like that, because otherwise he's Superman 24-7, and that's a problem. Superman, so, so yeah, John White from Superman Lois Clark came out with Damian Wayne. I'm excited about that. No, as a concept, I think the art is going to be by uh, Jorge, whatever the guy on Earth 2 Society is right now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Could be a lot of fun. Could be fun. I have a lot of a lot of hope for that one, which, again, like is interesting because and Titans and I've, Titans. I've been very, very angry at DC and a lot of their, their creative decisions for a while now, and it's it's interesting to be this excited about a bunch of stuff mm-hmm. that DC is doing. Yeah. At first when I was like thinking, I was going to sit there, I was like, maybe I'll pick up like two of these books. And now it's really hard not to want to give all Picking these books. up all but two. Yeah. <laughs> all but two. And, and at this point it is pretty much like there's only pretty much two books that I look at and go, mm, no. And that is read in the Outlaws. And but also maybe not because it sounds kind of fun because it's Damian Wayne wants to lead Teen Titans of Starfire, Raven, uh, Beast Boy, and Kid Flash. Interesting. So. And nobody wants him to do that. <laughs> that so, lineup is well. interesting. Yeah. And then Titans. Like there's going to be a Teen Titans and a Titans book. So it's going to be Nightwing, Arsenal, Garth, Donna Troy, and the mystery character in a. <laughs> Which Donna Troy? Uh, the the one that they've been working with. Well, it's, it's but it's rebirth, so who yeah. Knows? Who knows? Yeah. Because okay. pretty much it's going to be Titans Hunt. Do, do you ever get the feeling that like if Donna Troy was to write it like an autobiography, it would be a choose your own adventure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Which way do you go? at this point, I'd probably say Wally West too. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. So we're dealing with because the Wally West that's going to be Kid Flash. It's still not the original Wally West, but maybe they're going to bring more of that old characterization back. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. I don't know. Poor Wally. But yeah, I'm really excited for Are the summer. Are they doing anything with uh, Superboy Connor? No, nothing about him currently. Darn. But again, you. most of those, and Blue Beetle, sounds cool. Uh-huh. Jaime Reyes and Ted Ford working together in that book. Very cool. Um, and Detective Comics. Detective Comics with Sitcom. James Tynan, right? Yeah, and Batman by Tom King, art yeah. with uh, Michael Yannon and David Finch. It's going to be a more event driven book, apparently. Ben Baking, Tom King wants to make it very personal for him. Him being a former CIA agent and all that. Just like know. Snyder made it personal for him, himself. And then, yeah, Detective Comics with uh, James Tynan. Uh, awesome. With Eddie Barrow's art. And it's going to be kind of a Batman team book, is what he said. It's going to be something that's never been done in Detective Comics before. And it's looking like it's Batman and Batwoman heading up the team hmm. with a... Cool. With and they didn't call him Red Robin. James James Tynan very specifically called him Tim Drake. In a very, even though his costume has two R's in the R symbol, in mostly green. <laughs> um, Sandra Kane in whatever um, nice. in her new persona that they're going to take on. Sports, Steffi Graf, Twilight, and Clayface. Yeah, no, I'm totally excited with that. That's that, that woman is one of my favorite 
characters in the bad mythos, and I really, really did not like how the New 52 run ended. Uh, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with her, particularly coming out of uh, the last animated movie they did with her in it. Um, oh, Batman Bad Blood. Yeah. yeah. That was that was actually, I, I couldn't get that movie. Yeah. I did. I picked it up. So I it. It's really good. Is she getting her own solo book? Not as of yet. No. Give it time. Uh, give particularly it, yeah, give if Ruka is, is involved in DC again, yeah. there is a strong possibility that we would get a Batwoman book. What about Chapel Knight? Oh, yeah, yeah, nothing about her. Looks like she's going to play a part in it. Or Batman. But yeah, nothing. They because they don't know what to do with her either. Yeah. yeah. But again, I think they're lined up. They've chosen the right characters at right now. This like rebirth was as much about bringing everybody back to their core as a character. It was about playing off the strengths of their other media right now. So that's why Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Suicide Squad got Rob Williams. Yeah, Suicide Squad has actually got Rob Williams and, and Jim Lee as the as that team. So so really yeah, and, Har- and Harley Quinn, same same old team that they had before. Well, Harley doesn't need touching. Harley is one of the best things that DC's doing right yeah. now. So yeah, so pretty much supporting the big heroes and anti-hero with Harley Quinn. Mm-hmm. Nightwing's back to Nightwing. Cause everybody loves Nightwing. Mm-hmm. With, again, a really strong sounding team. But Grayson was fantastic. But then again, yeah. but one of the writers for Grayson's team is continuing Tim Seeley with. Yeah. So it is. He said very much this is about continuing Grayson's story. And yeah. Cool. I love Nightwing, so it's nice to back. I know which titles do we, do we know which titles are continuing on? Uh everything's getting a new number one. Like any Again. Just, yeah, everything's getting a new number one. Um I do know Like that, it's, it's Gotham Academy ending? Uh or? yeah, it's ending, but it is it's coming back. Is they didn't yeah, they didn't they didn't actually with their full announcement slate that they gave. Um, that like when the re- first Rebirth video came out, they didn't touch on some of them, but um, it is Brendan Fletcher and I think Quinn working with a non-named artist. And it's called Gotham Academy Second Semester. Yep. Cool. So that's what they're working with. Because Gotham Academy has actually been one of their their top sellers for I like the past so good. couple of years, and it it tests really well in the demographic of everyone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. yeah. Like. Well, it's, yeah, it's really good. Like working in the store, we get young like. 10 year olds up to like 100 year olds buying it, yeah. right? So, so no, it really shows so cool. Like, he walks into it and he beats yeah, comics he beats. and gets a copy of Watson's uh, yeah. Academy. Yeah. He just really likes reading about Damien, mm-hmm. guest appearances. He it's picks a up way to keep in contact with his son. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah, and so I'm excited. Yes. That's, a, that's so it. I'm excited for where he's heading and the future. And DC is looking much better than Marvel, right? Boogaloo, yay! I don't oh, I probably should wait for I just, I just don't like how they keep doing the same thing. Yeah, they don't want to heroes fight heroes. Yeah. I, I, I'm sick of watching heroes fight heroes. I get it. You know, when you're four years old and you've got like hero toys and you're banging them against each other, it's a lot of fun. But I, I want character stuff. I like to see heroes getting along. Yeah. I understand that nobody yeah. likes the mutants. I don't understand why. This um, one's about the humans. It's, I know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But but the mutants are gonna chime in. But all of the X Men books are like borderline yeah, readable at this mm-hmm. point. So like, we're gonna get rid of the X Men. Yeah. It's well, just, it's owned by Fox, so that's well, no, what it, they did with Fantastic Four. Yeah, they shut down too. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. No. Galactus has become an entirely different character, which is actually great. Like what they did with Ultimates. Did you? Either of you read that? I, have, I know what they did. That is, I kind of know what's up with that, but I haven't been keeping up on most of the All I'm keeping up is on like Vision and Doctor Strange. Again, Strange all the characters so that I really thought I was not into and didn't care about, like Vision and Doctor Strange, are and Black Widow, actually, too. Yeah. Oh, the characters I couldn't give a crap about, for the most part, are pretty much the only Marvel books I'm reading right now. Read Iron Man, because Iron Man is fantastic. I don't like my computer data. That's fair. <laughs> um, but Iron Man is... Just passed on that answer. Yeah. No, Iron I Man. summed it up. I was reading Iron Man. I was loving it. And yeah. then they're like, Dude, Mark Hedges is like, I got it. Yeah. Because it was, it was great. And it's still really good. But, I mean, if you're going to have problems with... with yeah. I can do that. Funny faces. Yes, he does. And, frankly... 
but the X books are unreadable. I don't know what's going on with Guardians. Drax is really good. Drax the Destroyer is fantastic. Spider Man got boring. Oh, but well, yes. series is showing problems. But I think I'm gonna go back to trade reading that. Yeah. Thor is really good. Anyways, this movie is about. Now, now we've gone. Right. Now we've gone on to Marvel. So yes. uh, we're gonna stop there. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, what are you guys excited for yeah. for DC Rebirth? Let us know if we missed anything. Like, yeah. give us the heads up because we want to read it. Oh, Green Arrow! I didn't talk about Green Arrow. Green Arrow. Hey, is Green Arrow. He's Black Canary for the first time, finally. Ooh! Yay! I like that relationship. Yeah, so do I. Again, everything coming out of Rebirth except for the Outlaws looks really good. looks really good. Thanks All for right. watching. Go Thanks. DC. <laughs> Bye. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>